Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you today from the northeast of Scotland. Um, today, I've got um, another coffee for you, another espresso review. Um, this time, it's the well, it's actually the first time I've ever ordered anything from out with the UK. So, I got this um, uh, yesterday. Um, it was roasted, I believe, on the first, and this is from the Bon Coffee Roasters Berlin. Um, this is part of their masterpiece subscription range. Uh, basically what happens is you you place an order for a monthly subscription and you get their um, the best quality beans that they have according to them. Um, so I'm quite excited to try this. Um, so here's the front of the packaging. As you can see this is a Colombian coffee, La Negrita, with notes of cola, pomegranate, and plush. Um, process is um, honeyed and it's a whoosh whoosh or what I think that's how you pronounce it whoosh whoosh. Um, yeah I, I can't remember the last time I ate pomegranate. Um, I know you get those pomegranate alcoholic drinks but I, I don't drink that I, I tend to drink beer or whiskey so I can't remember the last time I had pomegranate. One of the coffees I've had as well recently that I reviewed also has said they had notes of cola, which I don't believe I really picked up. Um, but anyway, that's the front of the packaging. And there is some more information as well that they give you. It's quite a big uh, leaflet. I won't be able to fit it all in. It's quite small, the writing. But I will just read part of the description quickly. Um, so with regards to the cup, we love this exceptional coffee and cannot wait for you to taste it as well. Flavours of cola and pomegranate set the main tone. They are supported by notes of umami, white pepper and sorbet. Uh, this coffee is a joy with high sweetness and crisp playful acidity. The plush body makes this cup perfectly enjoyable. Okay, so I guess what they're saying about plush, it's more the texture of the cup rather than the taste, I guess. Well, I guess it's part of the taste, but... Anyway, looks interesting enough. I'm not going to read all the farm details, and I'll let you guys read that if you wish. Okay. Yep, so what we're going to do then is I'm going to weigh out the, the coffee. So it'll be about 18 grams, that's the plan. And when I come back, we will be looking down on each of the actual beans and themselves. Okay, so I'll just edit this just now. Okay guys, so that's us up top again, looking down at the beans. As I said, 18 grams in. Um, I would suggest that these beans will be uh, light, or light to medium. Um, on the dial of the niche, I've got it at 17. I have a feeling that this might come out a little short. Um, I have been fiddling about with the settings when I've tried it a few times, but we'll see what this setting gives us then, shall we? So, onto the grind. Welcome guys, that's us back and just about ready to do a shot. Um, so the boiler is at 93 degrees, 94 degrees approximately. Um, 18 grams as I said in, so we're going to aim for about 36 grams out um, over the course of 25 to approximately 30 seconds. Um, before I actually do the shot, just to say the whole beans and ground beans or, or, the, or, the, or the grind of the coffee that the smell is absolutely amazing on these beans. Um, very, very sweet and fruity. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Anyway, let's uh, see what the shot gives, shall we? Okay, so as I suspected, shot was a little bit short, 24 seconds. 
Um, I think I needed to grind ever so slightly finer. The niche is quite fiddly sometimes. I mean, you hardly need to move the you know move the dial at all to get to big changes. And the last shot I did was about 33 seconds. I've, I've hardly moved it. So in the end, a little bit short, a little bit over as well, um, uh, 37 grams. Um, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's all down to the taste in the end. Um, I'm just going to let this cool off for a few seconds. Um, just want to say that I've also uh, placed an order for some um, some more beans from out with the UK. I thought it would be interesting just to try a few more um, and see what I get. So I've got uh, some beans coming from the Cabra and the Coffee Collective as well. So that should be interesting. So watch out for that. Um, right, so on to the actual shot itself. Not a huge amount of creme on this one. We'll go on to the nosing first then, shall we? So the nose, it's just lovely. There's there's all sorts of fruits coming through. Um, peach is, 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 I definitely get peach. Just a, just a lovely nose. It's not, there's no bitterness there. It smells very clean. Right, on to the taste then. That is just very lovely. Um, so I'm getting lots of sweet tones coming through. Definitely peaches. I think there's some strawberry there as well. There's a little bit of acidity, a little bit of citrus, sharp citrus coming out as well. But it's the cleanness of the of the sweetness that just seems to cut through the the acidic overtones. It's just it's just very, very good. It's it's so clean. It's not as um, um, the mouthfeel is not quite as thick as I get from others. I wouldn't say it's a thin mouthfeel, but um, it is excellent. Let me just have another taste. just silky smooth on the on the tongue and on the palate just slides down your throat there again you're getting that the punch of citrus and acidity but that beautiful sweetness just cuts through it and you get this it's just this combination of sweetness and acidity that is just so interesting and as I say it's crisp and bright um, I wouldn't say it's rich, but it's just bright, very crisp. Um, yeah, I had this as an Americano as well. I've had a few Americanos actually. The 150 gram bag is certainly not going to last long with me. Um, I would say the Americano was absolutely delicious in this as well. Um, you, you know, I, I don't really have a preference between the espresso and, and the um, and the um, Americano. Uh, Americano is obviously a bit more toned down, not as intense as this espresso, but I find in the Americano it just brings out so much more of the sweetness. You get so much sweetness coming through in the cup with the Americano. Um, yeah, but with this espresso, it's just intense. This playfulness with the sweetness and acidity is just so enjoyable. I think this is probably, I mean, I said to you before, guys, before that I've struggled a little bit with lighter roasts. I'd say so far this is probably one of the one of the best lighter roasts that I've had so far. Um, it's it's it, and and I think that's the, one of the reasons why I've ordered some more from from different companies just to see if I can get, 
just to see the differences between the different roasting styles that you you know from the UK and also you know up with the UK. I just thought it would be interesting just to see. Right on to a score for this. Well, I'd probably give this a nine out of ten. I would say nine to nine and a half. It really is great. Um, it's not cheap. It's part of their subscription range, so you can't just buy it. You need to subscribe to them in the first instance. Do I think it's worth the money that I've paid for it? To find a bean like this and for me to turn around and to start enjoying lighter roasts, I think it's worth it. Um, the bag is not going to last long, I can tell you guys right now. Um, it's only 150 grams, but I can get a good few doubles out of this and I get a lot of enjoyment. Um, it's just very sophisticated and I mean, it almost sound pretentious, but it's just, it's, 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 it's lively, but it's gentle at the same time, if that makes sense. The cleanness of, uh, it's probably the cleanest, one of the cleanest coffees I've had. Um, but I just love the playfulness of the acidity and the sweetness together. I think it's a match made in heaven, to be honest. Anyway, guys, that was, uh, La Negrita from Colombia, um, courtesy of the Barn Coffee Roasters in Berlin, as part of their master masterpiece collection for February. I hope you've enjoyed this review. As I said, it's, I'm extremely happy with these beans. So glad that I've tried them out, and it's made me look into other companies uh, from those areas. Um, and I really am looking forward to these more, more of these coffees coming in, so that we can try them and, and see what we get. Um, so, as always, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you wish. And I will see all of you again soon. Have a fantastic day. Take care.